All right, before we go any further, I just want to warn anyone watching that this video does contain explicit descriptions of sexual assault. If this is something you guys would like to avoid, I just wanted to give you a heads up before we went any further. The woman who accused Valorant and ex-Overwatch pro Jay Sinatra Wan of sexual assault and sexual misconduct recently expanded on her original allegations while also accusing Sinatra's current girlfriend of trying to discredit her. Sinatra's current girlfriend responded by publishing her own document accusing the woman who came forward of bullying members of the Overwatch scene. On top of that, it looks like Sinatra was spotted playing ranked Valorant with pros and teammates for the first time since those allegations were made, albeit under a completely different name. Back on Tuesday, March 9th, when Cleo Hernandez made her original allegations against Sinatra, it shocked the Valorant world. She tweeted out a thorough nine page Google doc, which included text and discord messages, as well as an audio clip documenting alleged abusive behavior and sexual assault throughout their nine month relationship. Hernandez said that the alleged sexual assault and abusive behavior began early on in their relationship. We covered this situation extensively at the time. She alleges that over the course of that time, he made unwanted sexual advances after she told him not to. She felt like saying no to sex was never an option. He would continue to have sex with her after she told him to stop and was in pain. He acted manipulatively and guilted her into having sex after she said no. He was emotionally abusive. He would check her location using his iPhone. And if it didn't match where she said she was, he would accuse her of cheating and that she lived in constant fear of him. Now, the response to the Sinatra allegations was swift and serious. On Wednesday, March 10th, both the Valorant Champions Tour and Sinatra's Org Sentinels released statements saying that they were investigating the matter and that Sinatra was suspended from the team and therefore competition until those investigations were concluded. Here's Sentinel's statement. Quote, We are aware of the current situation regarding Jay Sinatra Wan and have launched an investigation internally. While the investigation is pending, he is suspended from the team. We will provide a further update once the investigation has concluded." End quote. On top of that, the Overwatch League announced that they would be offering refunds to anyone who purchased his 2019 MVP skin. Then, around 24 hours later, Sinatra made this statement. Quote, It is clear from Cleo's recent post that she recalls our relationship differently than I do. What we do agree on is that it was unhealthy for both of us. I apologize to Cleo and regret how things ended but I never assaulted her in any way. I am fully cooperating with the investigations and providing the full audio and video clips Cleo referenced in her post." End quote. From there, Hernandez responded, criticizing Sinatra for not reaching out to her personally. Okay, so that was a quick rundown of the original situation, and I encourage you to go watch that Don't At Me episode to get a thorough understanding of what happened at the time. Skipping ahead to April 20th, just a few days ago, Hernandez tweeted out another four-page document titled More. The document expands on her original allegations. Hernandez includes text messages that allegedly show her telling Sinatra that she does not want to have sex, as well as a screenshot that appears to show him paying for her Plan B medication, quote, because he refused to wear a condom, end quote. Hernandez also says that she welcomes an investigation from Riot, but has been given no update from them since she made her original allegations. From there, the document turns to why she did not immediately come forward. Quote, As for the people who asked why it took me so long to say anything, here are some of the TikToks his girlfriend was making about me while I was staying silent. Plus her telling people I'm crazy. Her sharing stuff like this on her platform scared me into silence because I didn't want to have to defend myself against not only Jay and his fans, but her and her fans as well. End quote. The girlfriend Hernandez is referring to here is Sinatra's current girlfriend who goes by Emmy on Twitter. In the document, she provides screenshots of Emmy's TikToks which accuse Cleo of gaslighting Sinatra and using alt accounts to spread rumors. Here's another excerpt from the document. Quote, This convinced me that I should stay quiet because I didn't think anyone would believe me and everyone would just think I was crazy the way she said. She also talked about me on stream a lot. A few times, both her and Jay would talk about me in her stream. She deletes her VODs, so I don't have clips, but a few other people witnessed it as well." End quote. 
From there, Hernandez said that she filed a police report and that it's open and ongoing. Now, for what it's worth, I reached out to Washington DC Police Media Relations, hoping to acquire a copy of the police report. Based on the information available, they found one police report filed by someone named Cleo Hernandez on March 12th of this year. I was unable to obtain any further information because the investigation is ongoing and because the alleged incident took place in another jurisdiction, not DC. A few hours after that, Emmy, Sinatra's current girlfriend, tweeted out a Google Doc responding to Hernandez. Early on, she says Hernandez, quote, isn't the person that she's trying to display to the world, end quote. From there, Emmy alleges that Hernandez was making TikToks about her, as well as subtweeting her on an alt account. She states that after allegedly confronting Hernandez about this, other friends came forward with stories of Hernandez bullying people in the Overwatch scene, which is where Sinatra was playing competitively before he switched to Valorant. The middle section of her response includes a bevy of DM screenshots of people appearing to support her claims. Here's how Emmy ends the document. Quote, I'm still dating Jay. I have heard his side and I have never felt unsafe throughout my relationship with Jay. Jay has always put my comfort above anything, always. I hope that you guys will hear him out when he addresses it all publicly, end quote. In response to Emmy's tweet and document, many people on Twitter accused her of victim shaming and said that this document did nothing to disprove the sexual assault and sexual misconduct allegations that Hernandez originally came forward with. Here's how Emmy responded to this sentiment. Quote, I don't understand how people are saying I'm trying to victim shame. She brought up my part in her story. I apologized. She publicly stated that I apologized to turn me into a weapon against Jay, then brought it up again. I just addressed it and stated that I'm still with Jay. End quote. Now, unfortunately, these are by no means the only set of sexual assault and sexual misconduct allegations to come out of esports and streaming in recent months. In June, we covered the massive number of allegations that dominated the space, and many of those are still being investigated. On another note, Sinatra seems to be back playing Valorant, albeit under a new pseudonym. Remember, when the original allegations came out, Sinatra released a statement and then essentially went dark both on social media and on Twitch. But in recent streams, pro players like Shazam, who's still technically his teammate on Sentinels by the way, Som, Sabrosa, and Curry have all been talking about an account called West Virginia. According to them, it's Sinatra, and over the last few days, he's back playing ranked. There's West Virginia for them? Reloading. Oh, it is Jay. <laughs> Good, 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 good. Nice. What's the, what's the... Now, throughout Shazam's stream, chat was constantly asking him to talk about the Sinatra situation. Here's what he had to say. It's pretty obvious who I played against was Sinatra. I still can't talk about Sinatra or everything that happened. Now, as you saw in that T1 Curry clip, Sinatra, or West Virginia, wrote that he would be back streaming soon. At this point, there's been no update from the VCT or Sentinels investigation, and nobody has specifically stated that Sinatra's not allowed to stream during the investigations. So, while people have been wildly speculating as to what this could all mean, we don't have any official details at this point in time. Now, for the moment, that's it. Once we know more about these ongoing investigations with VCT and Sentinels, we'll let you know.